In this video, we review roles and scopes in Azure. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Reltos. This is a quick video, but an important one. We're going to review administrative roles and scopes and why a global admin is not necessarily a global admin. Before that, please like and subscribe and share with a friend. Check out my courses on Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 365 and Azure Hybrid Identities at udemy.com. The links are below. And thank you members, your support is appreciated. Back to it, here's the problem. In Azure, global admins are often confused with an account that has access to all Azure services. And that's not the case. The global admin role in Azure does not provide access to Azure subscriptions. Well, technically it doesn't, but stick around for that. To understand what I'm talking about, it's important to review role-based access control or RBAC and scopes. An RBAC role is applied to a security principle such as a user, group, or managed identity at a scope in Azure. And each scope has a different set of RBAC roles available. We can also create custom roles. For example, if we log into the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, we have different services such as Exchange, SharePoint, and Teams. If we go to the Azure Active Directory scope and view the roles available, we have roles specific to Azure AD. We have Teams related roles, for example, and there are roles for other services like Intune and Exchange. We also have a global admin and global reader role. Global Admin has rights to access and manage everything at the Azure AD scope, including setting permissions. Azure Subscriptions are another scope. Technically, Azure Management Groups, Subscriptions, Resource Groups, and Resources are all scopes we can apply RBAC roles to. For example, we can assign a security principle such as a group, the Virtual Machine Contributor role, at a Management Group, Subscription, Resource Group, or a specific VM. So why isn't a Global Admin a Global Admin for our subscriptions? That's because the global admin role is only available in the Azure AD scope. The equivalent in the Azure scope is the owner role. Giving somebody global admin rights to Azure AD does not give them rights to Azure management groups or subscriptions. If you sign up for a free Azure trial, the global admin account created to administer Azure AD also has subscription owner rights. That's why you could administrate both with one account. The one distinction is that users with a global admin role can give themselves rights to change access to Azure subscriptions and management groups. There's a setting in the Azure portal under properties. Setting this will give the global admin the user access administrator role at the Azure resource. From there, the global admin has rights to give themselves elevated roles to any subscription or management group. That's why the global admin doesn't have admin rights to an Azure subscription. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.